Let's go to Africa, Tanzania, and the rich natural environment called the savanna. Here the grass is resistant to drought and attracts all kinds of herbivores, who in turn become food for the big predators, the hunters. Right. And you don't become a great hunter just by snapping your fingers, you can be sure of that. Well, do as the cheetah does. Take lessons at home. The teacher is mom, and everybody follows right behind her. Lesson one, learn how to lie in wait. That's the basic move. Take a position on a hillock or a branch and just hang around for hours without moving, your gaze fixed on the horizon. Lesson two, you spot and size up your prey. Young cheetahs are apt to leap on anything at all, a gazelle, sure a giraffe, or a tank. No way. Okay, once the prey is chosen, then it's attack. Lesson three, the approach. If you're gonna succeed, you have to cool it. Be very discreet. The best thing to do is imitate mom. Lower your tail and rear quarters and move forward, whistling. It's time for a practical demonstration. All pupils are requested to stand back. The gazelles don't suspect the thing. Stand by, and it's go. It can't be said often enough. The whole thing is starting right. Our young cats are already very fast, but what they haven't learned yet is how to manage their force. Cheetahs run very fast, up to 110 kilometers an hour. That's 70 miles an hour. But they can't keep it up for very long, and that's why they have to wait till the last possible moment to attack. And once the rocket is correctly launched, it's in the bag. This little demonstration was lesson four, and obviously it's impressed everybody. The only trouble is, after the chase, Mom Cheetah is completely exhausted. All the same, she still has to haul the prize back to the others. So if, in addition, nobody is able to help her, what's the point? So now it's the final lesson. That's right, even student cheetahs have really heavy days sometimes. With everything else, they still have to learn how to transport their prey. <laughs> you thought that was obvious? Yeah, well, that's what the little cheetahs thought too, but they just might flunk out of school. The usual mistake is trying to drag the body while backing up, and that doesn't work at all. No, these cats uh, don't have strong enough gums. Lucky for them, their teacher is an angel of patience. The prey is dragged moving forward, even if it does look a little bit silly. Anyway, watching these young cheetahs, maybe we've learned a lot about the savanna too.